You will definitely sound better with this desktop microphone. Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here and I'm checking out this. This is the neat Skyline USB directional desktop microphone and it's pretty sweet. As you can see, it is a freestanding microphone with a handy mute switch on the front. And basically, you plug this into your computer, Mac or PC, and you point it to yourself, you adjust the gain on your computer so you get the optimal volume, and you're good to go. This is gonna work with Zoom or Skype or gaming, or really you can record yourself, anything you wanna do, conferencing, streaming, podcasting, it all works. Now, from a specs perspective, it's a 24-bit, 96 kilohertz audio recording system using a cardioid condenser mic, and it's 122 decibels sound pressure level, so lots of numbers. Basically, what it hears, it records. I'm sorry, what it hears, it picks up, and then gives to your computer, and then you can do whatever you want with it. You can certainly record it, and I'll do that in just a second so you can hear what it sounds like, but it can work with really almost anything. Mac, PC, Linux, Chrome has a USB-C plug on the back, and if you can plug it into something else, odds are pretty good it's gonna work. Now, it includes this really long USB-C to USB-A connector. And the reason it's so long isn't because they want you to have all this extra wire when you plug it into your laptop, but so you have flexibility with your desktop computer. So you can run the wire however you want. As long as you plug it into the back, you're good to go. It is plug and play, so there's no hassle with installing drivers, thank goodness. I really hope that with Windows 11 and stuff, we're past all the driver stuff that we've had to suffer with. But basically, I'll plug this in and I'll just show you that that mute switch becomes green. And if I press it, now it's red to show me that it's muted. And I push it again and it's green. And I have to say, it's kind of a weird, it's a sort of soft, rubbery button. Somehow, when I saw this, I thought, oh, I'm going to get a click, click right? On and off? No, it's sort of this squishy thing. I'm not sure why they chose to do that. Maybe it's a slightly more environmentally durable. I don't know. But it might surprise you a little bit the first time you push this and you're like, oh, what's that? That's weird. <laughs> so that's a six foot cable and it's an illuminated mute button. And let me give you some dimensions and then I'll give you a demo. So it is 7.8 inches tall. The base is 4.8 inches long and two inches wide. And it's from Turtle Beach, by the way. So it is called Neat. They have their own line of microphones now, but I don't know why they're not using the Turtle Beach brand. Be that as it may, let's do a demo. So I got my old, my classic gateway here and it's running Windows 11. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go into settings, system, sound, input, and I'm gonna make sure that this is the one that's chosen and it looks like it is. And then I'm gonna go and just use voice recorder on P the PC. So what I'll do is I'm gonna switch my audio from this microphone to this microphone and assuming everything's working, you're now hearing my voice through the neat Skyline USB directional desktop microphone. And it's probably not a fair comparison against this because this is a different kind of microphone. So let me stop this and let's hear what it would sound like if I was just talking through my regular webcam microphone. So we're going to stop this. And now I'm going to switch inputs. And now I'm going to record again. And this time what you're hearing is you're hearing my voice from the built-in microphone on this relatively budget gateway laptop. So hopefully you can hear a significant difference, but I'll leave that for your decision and your ears. And now I'm back on this microphone. So <laughs> we sort of bounced around a little bit there, but that should be something pretty interesting. And it really gives you a sense of how this microphone can really up your game. Now, they say you should be like six to 10 inches from the microphone. I feel like that's pretty close personally. Um, so that's something, again, you can mess with the gain or input volume. 
and Mac and PC both have that option. And then you can get that to be a good volume level given where you want the microphone to be positioned. Now, I'm a big fan of these external microphones because when you have things like a webcam built into your computer, their real challenge there is space and size. But when you get to something like this, they can really sort of say, whatever, we don't have to have so much anxiety about the size or the amount of power it draws. We're just going to make a really good microphone. And this will up your audio game. And it's definitely one to check out. If you're tired of people on Zoom saying, what? I can't hear you. That might be because you're muted. You could actually tell on here whether you're muted or not. That's easy. <laughs> Um, but if you're just tired of like gaming and stuff and not having people complain that, that you're really soft or whatever, then this can solve a lot of those problems. So really pretty slick. Only thing left to talk about is the price. And before that, I will tell you, it comes in black or white. I am partial to the white, but if you have mostly black peripherals and accessories, you can match the color scheme. And this is the neat Skyline USB directional desktop microphone. And it's $69.99 at Amazon.com. One worth checking out. It's a good, simple way to up your audio game. That's all I got. I'm going to go back to doing some more recording, which means I'll have to catch you in my next video.